Hey everybody, Jamie here today with Jacqueline who has decided to give the uh, traveling lifestyle a try and she has a Chrysler Town & Country that is equipped with solar and she has a bed on the inside of it and it's basically set up for just the beginnings of someone that's going to live the traveling lifestyle. How's it going Jacqueline? It's really great. I'm, I'm really glad I came to this event and got all this stuff done. Uh, these guys did a more than tremendous job at putting together the solar and the bed and just way above my expectations so I'm really happy well thanks for the kind words as it turns out we are at a van build party where she came and we did all this work but besides that what was the inspiration for you to even consider a traveling lifestyle in the first place well i have been working for the same company for a little over 20 years and i had been in various positions managerial salary hourly and I just decided that I did not want to be married to a job anymore. I think the big thing was is just making the actual decision to go from a house and so I actually moved out at the end of October and um, I'm kind of in a uh, just a process right now so I found my van right before I moved out of my house and with the intention of contacting, uh, once I heard about the event, this van build out, that I was going to start the process. And so just making the decision was probably the biggest, biggest thing for me, uh, getting out of limbo and decided I was going to take that step. So, uh, so you decided to, to get a van to live in. What are you going to be doing once you retire? What do you plan on doing in, in the van? Are you going to travel the United States, mm -hmm. visit family? Well, probably a little bit of both. Um, I want to be able to have that freedom and not be tied to a house or married to a house, as I like to say. And um, yeah, I'll be traveling and to even Arizona, where I've lived a majority of my life. I have not seen many places there. So um, it's going to be a really great opportunity for me to do some traveling all over. And I have family in Virginia. I have family in Georgia. I have family in Oklahoma. So. Um, I have some places to go. So you've logged a lot of years at the same, with the same company, mm -hmm. and because of that, you're going to be able to take advantage of the the retirement benefits that go along with that. Yes. And rather than see any of that go towards a mortgage, right. you want to see it go towards improving your lifestyle through travel. Exactly. Exactly. And being able to. Um, just not be tied down to something stationary. Maybe later on, in, as I go about this process, maybe at a later date, uh, maybe have a tiny house on wheels or something like that. But this was perfect for me. Uh, so this may be uh, just a first step, but it's definitely one that I, I really thought was the best fit for me for right now and actually for probably a few, quite a few years. Awesome, you mind showing us your van? Sure. Okay, let's take a look. Okay. So what they did on the inside here is they turned this, uh, the passenger seat around so that I would be able to have kind of like, I'm kind of calling this my living room space. And I had one of the reasons I did buy the town and country is because both of these doors slide slide open and I thought that was a really great feature and then both of these areas have great storage and once these guys took out the seats um, there's just so much storage here that I'm going to be able to fit a lot of things that I may need in my travel so uh, and then they did this bed here and I chose not to make my van um, the whole back end area some people really like having the bed cover a majority of the van but I chose not to do that and I happen to be under 5'1 so we measured across this way and there was enough room for me to fit up there and um, somebody had extra cushion here so I decided to use that just for starters and later on I may get some of the other foam um, but for right now that's going to work for me perfectly fine. Tell us about your, your power situation. Okay, so over here they installed um, a battery here where it's nice and tucked out of the way here. So I can actually, oops, I can actually close close this. And this is totally flat ground now that I've closed that up. They put the, the converter over here 
and installed it to the flooring here, made sure that I was going to have enough room uh, for when I was driving and putting the seat back. And then the other thing that they added down here, which I chose that I wanted it more out of the way also, because I really want this to be a clear spot, is um, the, the charge controller is down here out of the way. And But this is a really awesome feature that was just kind of added at the end here and I will actually be able to sit in my little uh, sh chair right here, my little recliner chair and watch how my power is going and so I've had people explain to me how how this works and actually as we speak because we're now out in the sun where the the solar panels can get the sun really good it's actually going up as we speak pretty fast so and you're getting what kind of mileage with this van? Um, I would say it's probably, I'm thinking probably about 22 or 23 miles to the gallon. Which Can't is, go wrong with the Chrysler Town of Country. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. So I'm going to be able to um, just pick up and, and go and actually do quite a bit of traveling and not have to worry too much about the gas. You know, gas is going up, but this is a great uh, vehicle to be able to do the traveling that I want to do. Absolutely. And why did we charge a, why did we decide on an inverter this size, 410 watts? Why not go bigger or smaller? Well, that was going to be enough for me to be able to run my computer and charge up my phone and some of the smaller things that I need while I'm out on the road. So just the right size, not yep. too big, right. not too small. Right. And so with 200 watts on the roof, you should have more than enough power to, to handle all of your computer, tablet, and handheld devices. I really like the, the foot you're getting sorted off on out here. Me too. I'm, I'm really excited that, um, especially about this extra space under here that I'm going to be able to, um, I'll eventually get a, a refrigerator and put most likely under one of these spots here and then I can increase my um, batteries and that type of thing. So I'm set for to be able to go forward and just continue to do what I need for the future. Would you have any last words for any woman that might be watching this in your situation? Maybe they're approaching their uh, retirement uh, period. They've worked for many years. They've got invested. They've got a pension and they're considering a traveling lifestyle. What advice would you give them? Well, I think first you really have to um, you have to weigh it out a little bit first and um, and also do your research. There's so much online now, which is what I did. I, I kind of YouTubed myself out and did a lot of research that way. But thankfully, we have all those options now, whereas people doing this years ago did not. But you're pretty fortunate now to be able to go and look at other people's stories like this one. And um, so that's what I did is just just kept researching and making sure and but ultimately you can kind of think yourself to death before making a decision and really it just if it's really in in here you have to finally just make the decision and do it because you can always change your mind at a point um, but I have already just this is my very first event and even doing this one step has just like kind of convinced me that I, I'm making the right decision. Well, good. I'm glad that uh, we made a good impression with you. And thank you very much for coming out to the event, but also talking to us a little bit about your van, how it's set up, and your thought processes behind it. We really appreciate it. Thanks. I, I'm glad to be here, and thank you very much for all your help. Awesome. See ya. Bye.